We're going to have a video explanation of the exhaust systems for the 987 Boxster, Boxster S, Cayman, and Cayman S, uh, and show you what's going on in the industry and explain to you how Fast Speed Motorsports makes the finest products for your car, bar none. Here on the right, we have the factory Porsche 987 system that's on all cars. This is the header from Porsche. It's a log type uh, collector here. And then this is a 500 cell catalytic converter. It's restrictive. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see how tiny the pores are in there. That's a 500 cell cat. So the exhaust goes through the ports, through the catalytic converter, OBD uh, first sensor, second sensor. Then it goes through this small two inch pipe. And then it goes through a second catalytic converter. All Boxsters from 2000 on, including the 987s, have four cats. This is the only one you need on the car because the secondary sensor is here. Then it goes over, it goes through another catalytic converter which is unnecessary and every manufacturer tries to delete the second set of cats. car will still comply with warranty and emissions. goes through this muffler, um, then it goes through this catalytic converter, through this muffler, and then it comes out the tip and uh, that's the factory exhaust. Alright, here in the middle we have the FabSpeed Motorsport Max Flow Performance System. Uh, fresh sheet of paper and it, this is the world's strongest, uh, most dyno developed exhaust. We've actually tested it against several other competitors brands when customers came in and this made the most horsepower and torque and is emissions legal. Here we have the Fabspeed Motorsport header, uh, CNC mandrel bent tubes. If this goes through a high velocity IndyCar Formula One type merge collector. Then it goes through a 200 cell sports metallic race cat imported from Germany. First O2 sensor, second O2 sensor. Here on the ground we have the IndyCar Formula One merge collector. This is investment cast stainless steel T304. I paid for the tooling to have all this done, and uh, this is uh, this is super quality stuff. This is really off the chart as far as performance parts. Uh, here's a 200 cell sports race cat. You can see how big the uh, pores are. This 200 cell sports race cat outflows dramatically the 500 cell factory cat while complying with warranty and emissions. And we put those in uh, right there. Uh, these headers are optional. The exhaust you can reuse your factory 987. Uh, Boxster, Boxster S came in headers and still use the FabSpeed Sport exhaust system, but we wanted to show you that because these, you know, that fits right in lieu of that. So it's a la carte. Also, for club racers and guys uh, that are road racing or whatever, we actually have these headers without catalytic converters. The O2 bungs are right there. And these are the jigs and fixtures. We build everything in house at FabSpeed Motorsports. Continuing along. Uh, on the fast speed max flow exhaust for the 987, these are two and a half, two and a quarter inch, 57.2 millimeter pipes, and then uh, there's one on the left and right, substantially uh, larger than the uh, than the factory. We use uh, Formula One IndyCar ball and socket joints, so you have adjustability and misalignment. One uh, just has a hinge; it opens up, fully adjustable, open and shut, and you can see the ball joint and the female flare. You just put that together and then stretch that clamp over the union. And then once you tighten that up, you have a leakless, gasketless connection. So the exhaust goes over there through this uh, two and a quarter inch CNC mandrel bent pipe into this 17 and a half inch long free flow performance muffler. It's got the balance tube here. And these are the Fabspeed Motorsport tips, the prettiest ones in the industry. And these tips are fully adjustable. It's got an Allen socket uh, bolt right there. It slides back and forth, or you can clock them. And uh, it's finished on the inside and outside, fully adjustable. And then over here, we have the, uh, we have the Miltec Performance System. It's supposed to be heralded and wonderful. And I wanted to show you uh, some of the nuances in the industry. Don't assume just because it's from Europe, Germany, or wherever they tell it it's from, it's not so wonderful all the time. Anyway, this system... Uh, these flanges are not water jet cut, they're laser cut. It goes through these pipes, completely not adjustable. This pipe's welded to the actual muffler case. Uh, these are all thin gauge stainless steel mufflers. This customer brought this to us. We're going to put it on his car as a courtesy. It did not fit the car when we put it on. We actually dyno tested it. You can see it turned yellow. Our system made three more horsepower than the, than the heralded Miltec system, and the Miltec did not fit. Ours, as you can see on this car, is the lowest profile system in the country. Uh, there's nothing drooping or hanging down, and it made three more horsepower. Back to this Miltec system, 
The mufflers are much shorter than fab speeds. There's an indentation on each side. Uh, so, because the car was loud, they had trouble controlling the sound. They have all these unnecessary extra pipes and confusion to try to do all this nonsense, which is unrelated to horsepower. The exhaust is in the muffler way too long. Uh, it's completely not adjustable, so when you have issues, it doesn't go on the car. You cannot tweak it or adjust it. Furthermore, when this system came from the customer, these tips were actually welded on. Uh, and it, one of them actually got damaged and dinged, so what we did was we cut these tips off. These tips are normally welded on, you can see them, so there's no adjustability as far as length, pitch, or angle, angularity, so you're on your own with that. And I'd like to show you uh, again the Fab Speed Motorsport tip in comparison to the Miltech tip. If you look, there's our tip, there's their tip. This is just a piece of three and a half inch stainless steel uh, hollow stock that's hit on a chop saw and then they stick a pipe inside and then they MIG weld it. Ours is all double walled, profiled and polished everywhere and it's adjustable from the fact from Fab Speed Motorsports. These are all MIG welds that are used in industrial fashion, lightweight stainless, takes a lot of dings and hits. This is all TIG welded professionally. We absolutely don't make our mufflers in-house. We're not a cottage industry here. I have my muffler cases made in the United States and New Jersey and these are all, I pay for the tooling and stamping to make these muffler end caps and cases and then we put them together here at Fabspeed. We're going to give you a little side view explanation of the 987 Boxster Boxster S Cayman Cayman S exhaust. Here's the factory header right here. You got the primary O2 sensor up front here. Okay, and then here's the secondary sensor. All right. Um, once the exhaust cast is a secondary sensor, anything's free and fair game as far as flow and performance. Here's the beautiful uh, two and a quarter inch. 57.2 uh, CNC mandrel bent, one piece tubes from Fabs, you know, I don't put together with wells. Look at how beautiful and polished that pipe is. And then uh, you can see the beautiful FASB logo plate right there. And then here's our Formula One IndyCar uh, uh, clamp. And here's, the, here's another piece, you can see how nice our product is. Here's the FASB clamp. Here's the male ball, the opposite pipe that goes in the muffler. There's a female flare, so it's a gasket sealess. Gasketless Formula One Indy style type clamp, one nut, one bolt, no games, and it gives you uh, adjustability. And uh, then you can look underneath here and see how nice everything looks. All 14 gauge T304 non magnetic stainless steel. And then you can see our uh, Fast Speed logo tags. Here's the balance tube, let the exhaust pulses go through. None of these nonsensical pipes coming under here and making U-bends to go inside the mufflers like Miltech does with all this confusion. This is all adjustable as far as fit. And uh, it made three more horsepower than the Miltech and more than the other competitors we tried. And it comes with those deluxe uh, beautiful tips poking out the back. There they are. They're adjustable uh, side to side, pitch to rake and back and forth.